Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arm Dulce, and today we're gonna be doing a Medalche deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because we just got some amazing support for this deck that takes this deck to a whole new level. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on this so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down the description below for all those awesome rewards. Again, your name, description, every single video, gonna get signed cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado. Let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're gonna be playing three copies of Magilene. Magilene is definitely a three out of the middle because this card is basically the Stratos of the deck that when this card is normal summon, you can add a Medalche monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great ability to instantly get to the exact card that you need. We then play three copies of Angeli. Angeli is definitely a three of as well in the deck because this card is basically the Lone Fire Blossom of the deck. That you can actually tribute this card to special summon a Medalche monster from your deck, but shuffle it in the deck during the end phase of your next turn, which is not that big of a deal because it's just going to instantly help you get a monster out on your side of the field, which is amazing to help you get the exact card that you need on the field, like a copy of Hoot Cake or Petting. We then play three copies of Petting. Petting is definitely a three of as well. This card is such a good extender and starter in the deck. This card has a really cool effect that if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and into the graveyard you shuffle it into the deck which all of your medalshay monsters actually share that common effect and this card also has the ability if you have no monsters in your graveyard you can special summon this card from your hand and if this card is special summon you can special summon a medalshay monster from your hand or deck except another copy of this card and if you do reduce its level by one which is a great ability to instantly get a monster out on your side of the field like a copy of your pudding sis which is just such a cool ability to instantly get that card out on the field we then play two copies of Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake is an amazing card to be able to use with your copy of your Mess and Gelato. And this card is easy to be able to combo with because this card is a great ability that you can target one monster in your graveyard to banish it. And if you do, special summon a Medalshe monster from your deck, except another copy of this card, which is a great effect to instantly summon out our copy of Mess and Gelato. We then play two copies of Mess and Gelato. Mess and Gelato is definitely a 2 0 in the build, but you only want two copies of this card. You usually don't want to see in your opening hand, but it's still really good to be able to play it, because when this card is special summon, you can add a Medalshe Spoiler Trap from your deck to your hand, but you must control a face-up Medalshe Beast Monster to activate and resolve this effect, meaning you have to have your copy of Hoot Cake on your side of the field, which is very easy to do because you're usually summoning this card off your effect of Hoot Cake anyways, so you can get a search, which is really awesome. We can play a single copy of Pudding Sis. Pudding Sis is just a one of you. Never want to see this card in your opening hand, but it's a great card to be able to summon off your copy of your petting because it will become a level four and helps you with your copy of your chocolate alamo but this card is amazing to be able to summon off your copy of petting because it will come out as a level four which is really awesome and it's just an awesome combo piece in the deck again you never want to see it in your opening hand but it's still really good to be able to play in the deck we then play a couple of Verna Sylph cards in the deck. So we're going to start off with Flourishing Hills. Flourishing Hills is really good as a three up in the build. And helps out a lot in the deck to play the Verna Sylphs in the deck. Because before this deck was so reliant on its normal summon. But this card, it helps out so much in the build. So if your first summon, like your copy of your Magilene, it does get Ash Blossom. You can still use your Verna Sylphs to be able to summon out an additional monster like your copy of Angeli. This card is a really cool ability that you can discard this card and a monster or a Verna Sylph card to add a Verna Sylph card from your deck to your hand extend the copy of this card then you can special summon an earth monster from the graveyard which is a great ability to instantly bring back one of your earth monsters to your side of the field we then play three copies of misting seedlings misting seedlings is definitely a three of as well in the build and helps out a lot basically doing close to the same things your copy of flourishing hill with the ability that you can discard this card and a monster or a vernisil card but you cannot activate non-earth monster effects for the rest term also add an earth fairy monster from your deck to your hand except another copy of the discard then special summon the earth monster from your graveyard which is a great ability making this actually the best verna Sylph in the entire deck to be able to play we then play three copies of Cash Tier of Fenrir. Fenrir is amazing in this deck as the Rev because it is an Earth monster. It helps a lot with the Verna Sylph cards because it searches an additional copy of itself, so you can use the additional copy to discard to the graveyard for the Verna Sylphs. Plus, it is basically the Cyber Dragon in the deck that you can special summon this card from your hand if you don't control a monster, instantly getting you a really good board breaker out on the field. Plus, it searches another copy of itself and it spot removes cards off the field when your opponent activates monster effects or when it attacks, which is just amazing. Fenrir is one of my favorite cards in the entire game 
game, and it's definitely a three in the deck just because it's an earth monster and it's basically a cyber dragon. We then play three copies of Herald of the Orange Light. Herald of the Orange Light is kind of like Called by the Grave for the deck because this card just negates monster effects by sending itself and one of their fairy monster from your hand to the grave, which is a great effect to be able to use because a lot of our monsters in the deck are fairy monsters. This card is very easy to resolve and help you protect your plays and make sure you're not getting hit with hand traps and it's a fantastic hand trap to be able to use. We then also play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's amazing in the deck just to stop your opponent from touching the deck. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Called by the Grave. Call of the Grave is definitely a one of in the build. Basically, just use this card to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. He has basically four ways to stop hand traps, which is amazing with our three copies of Orange Light plus this card. We can play a single copy of Chateau. Chateau is really good at helping you recycle your cards because when this card is activated, you shuffle all Modal Shape monsters in your graveyard back in the deck, and also all Modal Shape monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. And if a monster in your graveyard would be returned back to the deck by the effect of a Modal Shape monster, you add it back to your hand instead, which is really cool because it means your Modal Shapes are constantly adding themselves back to the hand. We then play a single copy of Ticket. I really like Ticket as a one of in the deck. It's still really good in this build because this card has a amazing ability that when a Madal Shame card is returned front, uh, to your side of the field or graveyard back to your hand or main deck by a card effect, you can add a Madal Shame monster from your deck to your hand. And if you actually face up fairy type Madal Shame monster, you can actually special summon that monster from your deck and face up attack position instead of adding it to your hand. Just basically being an amazing extender. I love this card in the deck. It's so powerful, but you only Need single copy of it because you can search it with your copy messing gelato we can play a single copy of salon salon is great but again you only need a single copy of this card this card is amazing because during the main phase you can normal summon in a medal shame monster in addition to your normal summoner set which is such a powerful fact to get an additional normal summon also if another medal shape card that you control or in your graveyard is added to your hand or shuffled into the main deck by a card effect you can send a medal shape spell or trap directly from your deck which is amazing especially with our new trap card we then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is really good for the consistency of the deck. They'll be digging the deck for the exact cards that you need. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing a single copy of Madalshe Dessert. Madalshe Dessert is amazing and a really awesome new card that we recently just got for the deck. It lets you target two effect monsters on the field, including a Madalshe monster, and return those effect monsters back to the hand of the extract. Then, you can special summon a Madalshe monster from your hand or your extract with attack less than or equal to the total original attack of those returned monsters, which is a great ability to help you get the exact monster you want onto your side of the field. It's great helps because it's a balance and also it helps you return your medal shades back to hand so you can use them again which is a great effect also if a medal shade card is shuffled from the grave into the deck or extract while this card's in the graveyard you can actually banish this card you can actually attach this card to an xz monster you control which is a great effect to instantly attach this card to one of your xz monsters i love the effect about this card to instantly just give it an additional material it's such a cool ability to just attach this card to one of your monsters so you can use this effect all over again we can play a single copy of Promenade. Promenade is just really good as well in the deck. This card helps out a lot, but you only need a single copy of it now. This card is the ability that you can actually target a face of card that your opponent controls and a Medalshe monster you control or in the graveyard and negate the effect of that opponent's card until the end of the turn. And if you do return the monster back to the hand, you can also banish this card from the graveyard to target a Medalshe XZ monster you control and attach a Medalshe monster from your hand deck or graveyard to it as a material, which is a really cool ability to be able to use, especially your copy of your Pudding Sis with your chocolate alamo we then play three copies of infinite impermanence infinite impermanence is just amazing hand trap to be able to stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck
So for the extra deck, we're going to start with two copies of our new Amazing Boss Monster. This card is definitely a two of in the build because you can immediately overlay this card on top of one of your copies of your Queen Teramisu, which is amazing to be able to do. And this card is a really cool ability that once per opponent's turn, quick effect, you can actually detach a material from this card to target up to two Medal Shade cards in your graveyard, shuffle them in the deck, also shuffle up to the same number of cards your opponent controls into the deck, which is a great ability to basically make a quick effect queen teramisu i love that about this card and it's such a powerful card to be able to play in the deck also if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the graveyard return it back to the extract so you can use it over and over again which is amazing this card is definitely a two on the build and i really like playing this card in the deck because it helps you disrupt your opponent's plays we can play two copies of queen teramisu teramisu is still amazing in the deck you have to use this card so you can go into your new boss monster but this card is the ability at once return you can detach a material from this card to target up to two medal shade cards in your grave show those targets into the deck also after this after that show the card your opponent controls into the deck up to the number of all shade cards returned which is a really cool effect to be able to use with this card and then overlay your new queen on top of this card we then play two copies of Glass Souffle. Glass Souffle is still amazing in the deck, but you only need two copies in the build. This card is the ability to quick effect. You can detach and turn this card. Target a Medalshay monster on the field. And this turn, that face it monster is unaffected by monster effects except its own. And if a Medalshay card is sent to the graveyard while this card's on the field, you can actually shuffle up to two cards from your graveyard back into the deck, which is a really cool effect to be able to use. We then play two copies of Chocolate Alamode. Chocolate Alamode is still amazing in this build and a really good boss monster to be able to make. And this card is healed, you can also XZ summon this card using a rank four lower Medalshay XZ. You control as a material. And this card also has a great ability. Once per turn, you can actually target a Medalshay card in your graveyard, shovel the deck. And also, while this card has a copy of Pudding Sis as a material, when a Medalshay card in your graveyard is shoveled into the main deck, you can detach a material in this card to special summon a Medalshay monster from the deck in attack position or face down defense position. But let's be honest, we're always summoning an attack position. But this card is still amazing to be able to play as a 2 of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska is just a good option in the deck overall, just to slow down the game, just in case you need to. One copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus just helps you board wipe with the amount of XZs that we're playing in the deck. One copy of Typhon. Typhon is amazing to be able to play in the build as well. These cards are kind of like flex spots with your copy of Baguska and Typhon. You can change them out for other stuff that you want to, but I still feel like these cards are amazing in the build. We then play two copies of the new Meow Caroons. Meow Caroons is actually one of my new favorite cards just for the artwork alone. It gives me the warm fuzzies whenever I see this card. Don't tell me it doesn't for you guys as well. This card is amazing. It's amazing for the combos. It has the ability, if this card is a Link Summon, you can add a Medalshe card from your deck to your hand. That's already an amazing effect and it's just really good as a Link 3. But it also has the ability you can actually target a Medalshe in the graveyard and special summon a Medalshe monster from the hand. And if you do, shovel that target in front back into the deck. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of the turn except Medalshe monsters, which is not that big of a deal because that's usually all we're using anyways, outside of our copies of our Vernisil cards. But the only downside to this card is it does turn your copy of Orange Light off, which is a little bit of a downside. We then play a single copy of SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight's amazing the deck. You could change this out for like a Nightmare Phoenix if you want to for another option, or like an Abyss Dweller if you want to for a more budget option. But this card is just amazing as a double interruption. Finally, play a single copy of Fresh Sistart. Fresh to start is just really good in the deck overall, but you only need a single copy now. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Medal Shade before, you should definitely give this deck a try. It's really fun. It's really sweet to be able to play because it's amazing to be able to just go in for game, especially now that we have a quick effect Queen Teramisu, which is just so cool. I love this new boss monster. It's so good for the deck, and it's amazing with just a few support cards what this deck can do. So that's going to do for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.